In this video, I want to teach you one of Henry's favorite bunch concepts that allowed him to be able to win the ultimate wildcard tournament uh, in this last MCS event. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And today we're taking a look at one of the best passing concepts in this game. Now, if you haven't heard already, I have a Patreon membership, uh, which is a place where you can get all of my eBooks for just one price of $10 a month. If you wanna sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Uh, I've got the bunch in there, I've got the bunch tied in, I've got tight, I've got, I've got a lot of really good stuff in the Patreon. We've got 15 offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked in the description. Uh, but today we're talking about the smash return. Really what we're going to focus on uh, this return route uh, out of this. And it's a very, very good little concept that Henry has uh, cooked, up, cooked up out of the bunch. Now what we're going to do, um, you do need Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master to run this effectively. Okay, uh, but what we want to do here is we want to come out with our bunch, uh, ideally to the wide side of the field, but you can do this on either hash mark. Um, and we're going to put the uh, circle receiver here, Brown, on a crossing route. And then we're going to flip the play. We're going to block our tight end. And we're going to streak um, Scotty Miller. So you see this is what the play art uh, is going to look like right here. And what I love about this concept is you've got this little kind of backwards zig as a check down um, with this crosser. Now what's really good about this crosser is it's gonna get over the top of 30 yard clouds. And as you saw right there, um, the outside quarter zone is gonna actually struggle to defend this. Now most people are gonna wanna run this Mabel coverage right here, very popular out of this. So when you put it on a crosser and flip it, Obviously, they're going to have to flip their adjustments as well, uh, which is going to kind of get their defense a little discombobulated. Uh, what I like to do with this, like I said, is block the tight end. If, and then now you've got the ability to roll out if there's no pressure. And then you've also got this little low read to the drag. And then most of the time, you're going to see this crosser will clear every zone drop in the game. So they kind of have to use her. Um, they kind of have to use her this crossing route. Now, let's say, for example, you're getting a lot of man-to-man. -man. I think this concept really shines um, against the man-to-man -man, uh, meta here. Let me see if I can kind of, let me see if I can get this flipped properly. I'm not sure why that's not working, but but anyways, let's just take a look at the concept. So, let's say you get the man-to-man, the -man, uh, man-to-man -man, uh, meta. Let me just flip, make sure I have the right route. Sometimes the player gets glitched in practice mode. Uh, but anyways, here you go. Now, if you want to, you can also put your running back on an out route. Um, that's another thing that you could do. Or I love to put him on a wheel. Uh, we know how effective wheels are. Henry's famous for the wheel this year. Very, very effective. But what's cool is this little route to Evans is going to cook man coverage. So a lot of times people's solution is they'll just run man on this and they'll use the crosser. Right, especially if you have the hitch street combo, which is very popular. Um, but let's say, for example, that we, you know, kind of set this up like this. Well, now they're in a position uh, defensively where you know they can't just you know play play uh, man coverage and pray. Right, they're going to have to do something. Um, they're going to have to put a zone somewhere. Right. So in this example. You know, we've got that clear out route, which is that slot. We're blocking the tight ends. So we've got great protection. And then we're just putting the back on a quick out. If you want to put this guy in motion, you certainly can. Just kind of get him off the jam. You got your crosser right there. And then you've got this little return route coming back. And it just puts the user in a position where it's hard to win. They can't use her both routes. So um, Henry uses this play. Uh, I think he uses this play to perfection i think this is one of the best route combinations that we've seen in bunch all year it's actually reminiscent um of the um uh, of the concept uh, back in madden 19 pat sale very similar uh, to how this works probably even a little better in my opinion um it's just a really it's just a really hard concept to stop especially when you utilize motion you start throwing this wheel um obviously i threw it made a bad throw but um put backfield mismatch on him you know learn to throw the wheels i did a video on that as well uh you're going to be just fine so i'm just saying 
uh, trying this concept out, I think you're going to really, uh, I think you're going to really get a lot out of that concept, uh, especially as I said, as it pertains to man coverage, as it pertains to zone coverage. You get this little wheel kind of popping in there, and again, the safety's playing it well, but the point is you can put an out route there if you want. Um, you could go wheel or you could go out route. Uh, the biggest thing here is this crosser and then this little return route underneath it. I'll show you with the out route. The out route's good too. If you wanted to use a, a slant route, you could. Um, it just gives you this little return route. Like I said, it's just gonna throw them off. They're not gonna be ready for that. Um, you got that little out route to the back, then you got that, and then if they do come down, now you got that going over the top of their head uh, and over the top of you know every zone jump in the game. So I thought this was just a really, really good little concept that Henry had dialed up. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this, you can get all my ebooks at the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. So, if you're still watching, you want to go check out the Patreon membership, head on down to the description of the video and uh, click that link that I put down there for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.